Well, it feels like spring has finally sprung, and here comes an absolutely stunning boat. She's called Petrus. She's 70 feet long, built in 2005 by Reeves, and fitted out by the highly regarded Stephen Goldsborough. I've seen a few of his boats, and none of them disappoint, and Petrus certainly doesn't either. She was originally built for a sitting member of the House of Lords. Um, I won't say which one, but he was the first owner, and the current owner is the second owner, so she's only had two owners in her life. An amazing family boat. She can easily accommodate six people. She was shot blast in an epoxy two pack in 2017. She's got eight anodes on her. She's been serviced annually, the engine. Last done in June 2022. And look at that hydraulic pram hood. It's got a clear windscreen and it just goes up and down with a little lever. Solar panels on the roof there, 400 watts. They were brand new in 2021. Mixture of bus style windows and portholes throughout the boat. Boat feels quite ni nice and light. There are four side hatches actually. Paintwork's in very good condition. The forward lockers were repainted at the end of last year. Lovely bows. The water tanks in that forward locker there, it's integral, but it has been painted twice a year. It holds 900 litres, so it's a very good size. The well deck floor is teak. The well deck is six feet long. Glazed cratch board. This table folds up to expose two seats at the bow end of the well deck. Under here are the gas bottles, 213 kilos with an automatic changeover valve. You'll notice just to the left of that cushion and to the right of this one there are dollies for tying up ropes onto. A bit easier on the rivers actually. There is a bow thruster on board, it's hydraulic, they're amazing bits of kit. And there are two seats either side of the well deck. The second one fits in there. It's a bit difficult one-handed, so I think Billy gives up here. But there are two seats either side which just insert in and you can take them out. And there's also another attachment that goes in that hole. Again, another dolly to put your ropes on. Well deck's illuminated by that light, glazed front doors. And then we go. It's got a real wow factor, this boat. She's fitted out in oak. Oak face, ply and oak, tongue and groove. Head height on the boat is six foot three. Saloon is seven feet six. Useful little storage cupboard here in the corner. Lovely curves on the woodwork, actually. The fit out's really, really nice. There's a stereo there, a car CD radio. There's huge storage under the well deck. You pull that step out and it's, it's cavernous in there. The stove is was brand new in 2021, custom built by Clark Stoves. The floor is 5mm oak, it was veneered in 2021. And this Donetto is lovely, you could sit eight round the table here. There's a 24 inch television on the wall. So this bench under the gunnels just folds down. Hey presto, pop the cushions down and there you go. Enormous dining table. The dinette is seven feet long. Turns into a double bed as well, actually. All the cushions, by the way, and curtains were new in 2021. And the galley's next. It's eight feet long. Nice side hatch here. All the side hatches on the boat, by the way, have um, clear inserts to keep the rain out. These steps just fold down. You can exit the side hatch if it's conveniently moored. Black granite in here, the worktop, a uh, blue granite rather, the worktops. Feels really luxurious, this kitchen. There's a four burner gas hob oven and grill. It's a stove's oven and grill and an argent four burner gas hob. This is really good. That gives you extra work service, I suppose, but it's also very useful storage. Next to that is a Coolmatic 12 volt fridge and freezer. They sit under the sharp microwave. That's your freezer compartment. And that's your larder fridge. Plenty of storage in the kitchen. There's a fan on the wall. You probably just saw it there. Top left hand corner of the screen. Cupboard on the starboard side here. A bank of five drawers. I won't show you all of them. A drawer's a drawer, but there are five of them. Lovely sink with a draining unit next to it. I think that's bolted, Billy, at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. And a lot of storage under there. 
And what's that I hear you ask? Well, that's the bin. <laughs> it's really clever. I like it. And the bags under there look quite neatly squirreled away. And that's a few down the galley. There's a Houdini hatch in here. Lovely curves on that bulkhead separating the dinette from the galley. And on we go. Another side hatch with a clear screen underneath it. And here's the first of two bathrooms. The loose pump out. The, it's white granite, that basin surround. Ceramic sink. Storage underneath. Just one door on that cupboard. Tiled floor in here as well. And opposite that, a couple of cupboards with mirrors on the outside. Very useful linen cupboards, I suppose. Everything on this boat, this boat feels new. It's been so well looked after. And there's a shower. Light over. Into the bedroom. Bedroom itself is at six feet too long. No, it's not. Eight feet eight inches long. It's a cross bed. The bed measures six feet long by four foot six wide. Very easily erected with that board that just drops down. Cupboards over here. Nice little place to sit and do your makeup or whatever at this. This little desky area. And then behind the door. There's a wardrobe here with shelves over. And then the same sort of vanity units mirrored on the other side. There's another fan. Bank of drawers. I suppose you call them lockers, don't you? I, yeah. That's the word I'm looking for, I think. And drawers under the bed here. Plenty of storage on the boat. Lovely feel to her. This is where it gets interesting. If you close the door in between the second bathroom and the bedroom, you've almost got two separate living areas. So if you've got guests, they've got their own bathroom here. It's another pump out loo, a lovely ceramic countertop basin. It's a second shower area. And another pump out loo. I didn't mention actually there's two water pumps on board, so the pressure is really good. So two people could actually be showering at the same time. So second bathroom there, another side hatch here with those foldy down step things. There's another wardrobe. So much to show you on this boat. There's a dressing mirror on the other side of that door. And I don't know what I'm calling this. It's probably a loading hatch. You might have noticed it from the walk down the outside of the boat. Side hatch there. Chap who owns it used to keep his generator in there. It's quite good for putting things through the boat. And then here's a little another vanity unit thing. Nice place to sit and use the mirror for whatever you use mirrors for. And under that is the washing machine. And this is the stern cabin. This measures eight feet, six inches long. The second bathroom is six feet, by the way. So these make two single berths, or it does convert into a full width double. Storage underneath. Cupboard up here. Looks like a self-contained second half of the boat, really. If you've got stroppy teenagers, they could stay in there. All the lighting's LED, by the way. And here's the engine room. Teak, again, and there's the woodwork you can see there. There's some very comfortable seats that go either side of the cockpit here. I mentioned the hydraulic bow thrust. And the engine's in here. It's a transverse nanny, so it sits sideways. It's hydraulic propulsion. It's got two silencers on it, so it's super quiet. I've never seen an engine bay quite so clean, if I'm being honest. So you've got plenty of space in there to tinker. It's an ARP hydraulic drive. I've mentioned the hydraulic bow thrust, and that's a television monitor. There's a camera on the front of the boat. See what's going on 70 feet away, and you probably noticed the um, 
VHF radio. That's a travel power generator, three and a half kilowatts. And you probably notice the inverter on the right of the screen, which is a two kilowatt master volt inverter. The tunnel lamp on the bench on the left of the screen you just saw is a, it's off an old vintage, it's a Marshall tunnel lamp. It's off a vintage Rolls Royce. Lovely bit of kit. So back through the boat we go. She got four domestic batteries and one starter. They were all new in 2019. 230 volts is landline hookup or the travel power generator. That gives you 230 volts when the engine's running. I mentioned the 400 watts of solar. There's a nine kilowatt Webasto diesel fired central heating system. That was brand new in 2019. And the hot water on the boat is heated by the engine, the Webasto, or there is an immersion heater as well for when you're hooked up to landline. Insulation is spray foam. All the windows were brand new, by the way, in 2015. And rather reluctantly leave this boat. There's so much to her. Absolutely stunning vessel. There we are. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.